Never tried that. <laughs> well, pregnancy is a lot more than just about food, crazy food cravings, although food is a very essential part. Here to answer some questions for moms to be is one of our favorite experts, Dr. Joe Adeshek. How are you doing, Dr. Oh, Adeshek? Great. Nice to be here, of I course. I like that you got the purple memo. I did. Thank and, you. And you can't see the socks, but I'm just saying, I like a styly doctor. We dress together <laughs> today. You know. <laughs> it's just an added bonus if you go see his office, okay? But, I mean, people, when they finally get pregnant, I mean, you talk a lot about wanting to get pregnant and high-risk pregnancies, but once someone is pregnant, and they're expecting food and diet is huge on your list of what to do, right? Well, definitely. Obviously, the first thing to do is make sure you have prenatal care, okay? And that's the number one thing. So the second thing, of course, is figure out what you're going to eat to be healthy during your pregnancy. So, and there's a lot of, like, myths out there, like, you can't have that, you can't do this. What are the facts? What should you stay away from? Okay, well, definitely. Actually, you know, you have to actually work at finding things that are dangerous to eat in pregnancy. You know, we did survive as a species somehow, okay? Of Okay. So the biggest thing uh, these days is fish caught in the ocean, okay? And that should be limited generally to one serving a week of fish, even the canned tuna fish, one okay. serving a week. And generally, the higher up the food chain a fish is, the more mercury it has. So for example, really? we say, you know, no shark in pregnancy, obviously, because they've eaten all the, a lot of little ocean fish, okay? <laughs> so, you know, now everyone thinks sushi is terrible now yeah. as long as you go to a reputable place it's the same thing you know really? one day a week uh, one serving a week of sushi it's fine as long as it's at obviously a reputable place that you know it's clean and you're not going to get sick from it it's Just fine be careful about okay that. okay exactly and the other thing you know everyone says oh my gosh lunch meat i can't have lunch meat you know, this is not the 50s, you yeah. know. Listeria from lunch meat is <laughs> extremely unusual, you can okay? You spam all you want, right? <laughs> oh, go for it, as much as you want. <laughs> 10 servings a day, you know. I mean, the population <laughs> Hawaii is doing just fine. They have some right. spam burgers, right? Exactly. Uh, my wife's cravings was Taco Bell, by the way. It was? So, and she hasn't gone since. It's so funny. <laughs> Yeah. And I mean, what, I mean, honestly, too, like, are, what are things, too, that, you, that people maybe don't hear about that we should stay away from? Well, obviously, you know, I think uh, the, the biggest thing by far, you know, is, is fish to stay away yeah. from and unpasteurized things. You know, the pasteurized means it kills the bacteria, sure. okay? So you have to be really careful with anything that's non-pasteurized, and that's the thing that has the listeria in it. And so I recommend my pregnant women nothing that's, you know, non-pasteurized, okay? Yes, and, and one thing that's important about having prenatal care and see a doctor early on is knowing not only what foods to eat, but how much to eat, because sometimes, you know, we talk about weight gain during pregnancy. It's not just for vanity, but there's a certain amount that is healthy, correct? Sure, right, right exactly. You know, a normal weight person, 25 to 35 pounds, you know, is fine, okay? But it doesn't mean you can go crazy and go, oh, I can have 60, 70, 80 pounds. I've had patients gain up to 100 during pregnancy, okay? Wow. And other than their babies being big and increased risk of diabetes, obviously, it's really hard to lose afterwards as well. Because okay? isn't it really true? You're not eating for two. You only need about an extra, what, three yeah, pounds Yeah, you're eating a day? for like a one and a quarter. Like an extra, okay. like, slice of cheese a day. Exactly. Back, back, not very much, right? Exactly. And the other thing is if you're overweight or we called fluffier in our office. Fluffier! Yes, yes. Okay. Then you only gain, you know, 10 to 20 pounds is fine. You don't need to gain more than 20 pounds. Okay, here's a question. A lot of people are talking about at, like, bathtub births, you know, or, okay. or births at home. And, uh -huh. and people have, I mean, there's so many options now, midwives and choices. What do you think about that? Okay, well, you know, actually some of the hospitals here, you can actually rent a tub and you can actually have a, you know, quote-unquote water birth. And, you know, the biggest thing to know is if you're going to have that in the hospital, you cannot have any pain medication because they usually want to monitor you and the baby. They don't want to give you like an epidural and float underneath the water, you know. So, so you know, it's for people who just want everything kind of natural, but at the same time they want it done in the hospital just in case something bad happens. Happens. Absolutely. And just real quickly, too, I mean, there is a lot of debate about medicine and epidurals because a lot of people are like, I'm going to do it natural. I'm going to, you know, be really brave and do that. Is there any benefit in doing that at all? I always tell people, you know, you don't win an award for suffering, mm -hmm. okay? I, I personally think, you know, whatever it takes to, you know, obviously have a healthy mom and baby, and two, to have a vaginal delivery is the best. And if you have an epidural or something for pain, I don't think that you're less of a mom, less of a woman, you know, it, 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 to me, it's safe. 
and why not have pain relief? And there will be some people out there that says, oh, I disagree with him, epidurals are bad, but we really haven't found any studies to show that epidural anesthesia is something that's bad. It's a regional, it doesn't go in the bloodstream, and it just helps numb the pain. Yeah, however you get the baby here, you're a hero anyway. Medicine, exactly. medicine, so it's just good to have your options, and that's why you should see doctors early on. Yes, uh, Dr. definitely. Dr. Thank you so much. All right, thank you for time. having me as usual. I know that Monica's like, give me the medicine, right, Monica? <laughs> Jason's like, I'm not even doing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, guys.